Hello everyone, welcome back to IMSC 780 Methods or OR. Um, first part of the nonlinear optimization. Uh, we're talking about second part of the uh, SciPy library in optimization. Today we're going to introduce a little bit more involved and interesting uh, optimization uh, problem to solve using SciPy library. First, I want to give you a reference where is the SciPy Optimize uh, library is located. You can click on this, uh, click on this uh, link to get to uh, the SciPy optimization and root finding um, uh, library. Okay, it gives you quite a bit of a, a different variety of what is covered in the here, and also it shows you what how many different type of uh, optimization algorithm included in uh, this portion. And uh, the SciPy also can use it to solve least square problem, which we're gonna talk about it in, in the part two of your lecture uh, 10 modules. Uh, after your lecture 10 module, talk about some of the least square problem, some of the uh, so-called curve feeding problems, and some of the root finding Issue. So we're going to have some root finding example for you today. Uh, just very simple, straightforward. We we'll talk about more uh, involved is optimization algorithm. The first algorithm we're going to introduce is the Nieder Reed, and is also referring as a triangular downhill triangular uh, uh, flipping problem uh, algorithm. It's very popular algorithm for using to minimize a multivariable uh, objective function uh, without any kind of uh, derivative or could the, uh, first derivative or second derivative uh, requirement. So you see that for minimization problem, your objective function may have some uh, uh, some of the objective function you have a first derivative and some of the objective function you can have a second derivative. So variety of the algorithm proposed, for example, the conjugate gradient method is using only the first uh, derivative and the BFGS also, but the Newton methods and the uh, 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 trust Newton method, these are the using a so-called second derivative uh, inf information, second derivative usually in uh, other engineering discipline as a uh, so-called Hessian matrix. The first derivative information uh, usually refer in the vector format as a Jacobian matrix, okay? So just link together. And some of these algorithms actually uh, neither re and dog leg method, uh, trust, uh, trust region constraint method, they don't need any type of uh, gradient information. They're using a generic search method and trying to converge and finding the local minimum, okay? We'll talk about those a little bit later, but now I just want to give you a, uh, this is the page for each one of the algorithms involved, and you have uh, references down here. So the second part we're going to talk about, first we're going to introduce a so-called unconstrained and constrained uh, minimization problem with multivariable scalar function, okay? First we call it uh, <clears throat> Nieder and Reed, Nieder and Reed meet, uh, simplex, downhill simplex method. Uh, we're introducing a popular test function called Rosenbrook uh, function, and this function usually refer as a valley function or banana function. Uh, there is a picture, uh, this is the function formulation right here, and also this uh, this part is the uh, the visualization of function. Actually, the, <clears throat> the minimization of the global minimal is actually here uh, with a very uh, narrow region you can find that. Actually, in SciPy uh, optimize the Rosenberg function. Rosenberg function is uh, defined within their library. All you have to do is import Rosenberg function, Rosen function right here, and the minimizer uh, minimize uh, 
uh, routine. And you can also define your own uh, using define and so on and so forth. Okay, so I commented out, but since the uh, sign pi already has, you can define other customized uh, user defined function uh, using definition function or definition. And I give uh, x0, which is initial x point, uh, using a NumPy array, one, two, three, four, five, six, so total uh, five actually, five dimension. I'm running minimizer using the Rose, uh, Rosen function with the x naught is the initial solution. Uh, method is a neither and me. Um, several option is the tolerance of uh, convergencies. Okay, so it's a 10 to the uh, minus eight. Uh, display, yes, I want to display all the solution and full output equals to true. I show you different other algorithm you can use in here is a Powell method, Powell method uh, as well. Uh, you can uncommon and common and to try different algorithm in the optimization portion right here. Okay, well, remember some of them require the first derivative a Jacobian function, some of them require the Hessian function. So um, your previous definition based on the algorithm you pick, you might need to provide the Jacobian function later on. So this is uh, optimization term terminates uh, successfully. Current objective function value is zero. Iteration take 339 iteration. Function, functional evaluation as 571. Uh, run this uh, <coughs> function, objective function evaluation 571 time, uh, the final solution, okay, and give you some of those information. Next, we're going to talk about uh, least square method, okay, least square method. Um, very similar, we define the Rosenbach function and call the SciPy uh, optimize uh, library, import the least square portion input with the two by two okay since it has x x naught and x one so it's a two by one uh, two variable function uh, using least square to uh, solve it and very simple also uh, the solution also should be uh, uh, zero so optimality should be 10 to the minus 14 to the minus 14 and um, so termination condition satisfy and give you all the solution. Okay. <clears throat> so the cost function is 9.8 times to 10 to the minus 30, which is uh, close to zero as well. Next interesting uh, function for SciPy is root finding. Root finding is a very popular uh, algorithm people use frequently especially in some optimization problem. For example, we would like to find uh, the uh, minimize of this function, which is f of x, f of x, uh, x squared plus two times sine x, sine of x. In order to find the minimum point for this function, frequently we would do is we take the first derivative of f and set it to zero, uh, set the first derivative function equal to, or the Jacobian uh, matrix equal to zero, which here we call the g of x function, okay, g of x, g of x equal to two times x plus two times cosine x equal to zero. So it's the first derivative. So first let me plot these function first. Okay, so I'm going to import the MATLAB, uh, MATPLOTLAB, and then import NumPy and SciPy Optimum. Okay, use uh, uh, import Roo and Roo Scalar, and define the G function and G prom, which is the first derivative of F, uh, G function, which is the second derivative of the original F, F of X. Then the plot it and show you some of the uh, 
The blue line represents the G function, and the orange line represents the its uh, first derivative. Similar, bigger, uh, more clear picture looks like that, and we can probably tell from this bigger plot and uh, the root actually. Root is the zero when the function equals to zero happening. The root right here is a little bit negative point seven three something like that. Okay, so here I will pre uh, present you with the three different ways to solve this problem. One's using Brand method, the other one's using Newton's method. So you are welcome to uncomment each one of those and trying to solve with a different algorithm. Actually, uh, this algorithm is using uh, um, Brent's method and converge to the true optimal uh, to the optimal uh, total nine iteration ten functional call and uh, root, which is the final solution, negative point seven three uh, seven four, so on and so forth. Using another one, give it to you. Uh, this function is called p to pp, and then this is the objective function. We're using so-called root scare uh, to solve it. So I give you a single variable solution using Newton's method. And here we can also using Halley's method and so on and so forth. Next, we're going to talk about a little bit more involved with the constraint optimization. Um, First, I'm going to generate a, a, a set of uh, random number C equals to 1. If you want to give me, get the same result as this example, I will, we're using the same C as I do. I'm using 1. And you can use 101, 101, and so, so on and so forth to your preference, whichever you want. And <coughs> we set this into a random data frame. Okay. And then down frame was a 100 data point times 4, okay, minus 4.25. Uh, and we call it column A, B, C, D. So this is what it give me. So here we have <coughs> 100, actually, data point for each one of the four column. And the column name we call A, B, C, and D. So I'm just printing out the first few uh, five uh, rows for you. Actually, they have 100 a uh, number. So I want to find a solution uh, for A, B, C, D, which is minimize a certain objective function I'm going to come to talk about. So the weight of each one of this uh, A, B, C, D is 0 0.15, 0 0.35, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So add up to one. So the, each one of the weight uh, for each column so the objective function is actually uh, negative one times uh, the uh, <coughs> data frame return, okay? Data frame return, which is original 100 times four column uh, data frame times the weight for each column and take an average and sum of the average uh, for each column. And so this uh, actually sum of the uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, average for each each one of a column, and we'll call it objective function. But we also going to give you a definition of a so-called uh, constraint, and constraint type is equality constraint, or constraint type is inequality constraint. And the constraint function give you as the way equals to sum of the way minus one equals to zero, which means this part equals to so-called uh, the weight, uh, total weight equals to zero, and total sum of the weight plus x is less than x, which is each one of the x uh, is greater than or equals to the x, actually, solution. So, <clears throat> so the bound on each one of the uh, solution should be between 0 0.01 to 0 0.8, 0 0.01 to 0.75, respectively, for four different columns. Okay. So we put into this into minimize, uh, sine pi minimize uh, function, uh, return objective function, the weight, 
the defined return, a differential return, the bound and the constraint, and the method we're using is successive linear uh, least square quadratic programming algorithm defined it in here. You can see this one, okay? So I'll just quickly give you a rundown on different variety of sample. And also, this is the part you can uh, give you a formulation already. And this is the minimization of objective function, okay? And this is a, a constraint, it's x1, uh, the a cube minus x2, the a square greater than or equals to 1. x1 and x3 are both greater than 0. x2 are unlimited. So this is how you define the objective function, uh, sorry, the constraint and the objective functions right here. Okay, and then you can call the minimizer and give you the result right here. Okay, so I quickly go over again for the second part of the uh, equation using uh, multivariate, uh, mat uh, multivariate unconstrained optimization problem, constrained optimization problem, give you a quick example about the rule finding algorithm and quick example about least square example. So we conclude this section of uh, lecture and we would come back to talk about a more involved detail of each one of these subjects in SciPy uh, optimization portion, okay? So let's see you a little bit.